excuse me. Excuse me. What in the world are you thinking? Me, Gene, the first thing you need to do is to tell these people to shut up if you want to hear what I got to say. What up, y'all? It's KMB, the Sexy Ninja, and the place to be for a Paper Saber universe. And this is the New World Podcast, brother. Oh, that hurts. Uh, <laughs> getting old sucks. I had a dream that I fought Brock Lesnar. Did I win? No. And I woke up like I fought Brock Lesnar. My back is killing me. The ankle's back to being hurt. I don't know what I did or what Brock did to me in my dreams. Or my wife slowly kicked my ass while I was asleep. But hot damn, man, I feel it. <laughs> I'm feeling so bad. It's in my uh, left lower back. I'm just like, oh, I try. I got up this morning. I rolled out of bed. I was like, all right, I can't wait to check out Heat Wave. That's what we're talking about today. NXT's Heat Wave 2023, August 22nd, 2023. Vic Joseph, Booker T on commentary. <laughs> I roll. I was so excited. I was like, "Oh, I can't wait to see a, a Dragon off take on Trick Williams." I can't wait for Carmelo Hayes and Wesley. There's so much gonna happen on this show. I'm so excited. And as soon as I slightly rolled to the left, I was like, ah! "My daughter's like, you all right?" I was like, "No, no." Then I rolled right off the bed, man. Uh, took a powder, and I was like, "Oh," and I was tapping out. She's like, "Why are you tapping out?" I was like, "I don't know, but goddamn." I don't know what I did, so I tried to stretch every which way, but I got through the show. I enjoyed it. It, it numbed the pain in my brain so I could enjoy the show. We started off with the family intro at the pool. Very fun. Very silly. Um, but we started off with the banger. Ilya Dragunov versus Trick Williams. And I got to say, Trick, the man has come a long way to be his own man. Trick Williams, like, you you look like a star. And, you know, no silliness, no nothing. You came out and you showcased what you can do against one of the best, in my opinion, Ilya Dragunov and Trick. Ugh, I really love this match. I really love the fact that you went toe-to-toe. And there was some crazy strikes and crazy this and that. And that knee, the knee strike to Ilya Dragunov's face and the way he flipped like a pancake. I was like, damn. I had so much fun with this match, man. Ilya dragging off for the win, of course, but uh, Ilya's Ilya's uh, eyes now, soon to be red eyes, are once again on that NXT championship. And Trick Williams, I want to see him move up the ladder. Hopefully, a heel turn and he turns on Carmelo. I was hoping for that tonight, but no, it's okay. It's all right. We can slowly build the process here. Um, backstage, we have Mommy and Dom interrupted by Mustafa Ali. Mustafa Ali wants that. Uh, North American NXT Championship around Dirty Dom's waist. And Dom said something that I really liked. Dom was like, I don't care about NXT. You know, I just got the, you know, building more to the heat. And uh, my my wife got to watch uh, this match tonight with me with Rhea Ripley, Dominic versus uh, Lyra Valkyria and uh, Dragon Lee. And she's like, why do they make him wrestle more here than he just an ass kick? Gets his ass kicked on the main show. I was like, I don't know. I was like, but that's why I'm, I like this whole NXT run because he he actually gets to showcase what he can do in the ring. So that's why I really like this run here because we get to see what Dirty Dom can do, and he and he's and he's dope. Like I, I love Dominic. Like I love the whole Judgment Day. I love Mommy and everything like that. And Musafa Ali has grown on me to be like, ah, oh. now because I used to be like when he got on the screen, I was like, God damn it. You can listen to the old podcasts and stuff like that. But I was always like, ah, fuck, go away. Now I'm like, oh, Musafa Ali versus Dominic Mysterio for the North American Championship. Yes, please. Yes, please. Uh, next match of the night, Ivy Nile versus Ava. Uh, real short and sweet. And Ivy got the win. Submission. I The match was, and then the schism was around the ring with this uh, yellow mask. But uh, we're not telling that story. Ivy got the win. And she starts, and then, like, she grabs Ava again. And everyone starts, come, schism starts coming in. Then she starts laying waste. She's like, get the fuck out of here. Suplex and stuff like that. I'm like, you go, Ivy. But Ava's carried off by two mysterious masked schism peeps, you know. And, but she's taken away. Then up next, we have uh, Ilya it's backstage after he, you know, he after his win. Gets in Wesley's face. Wesley, I love this fired up Wesley because he's such a 
a hothead. He's like, you know what? You're looking at I mean, Ilya's like, my eyes now are at that NXT championship. Wesley's like, yeah, you know, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to be the new NXT champion. And you're going to be facing me. And Ilya's like, all right, do your thing, kid. Do your thing. Um, and I was like, man, Ilya Dragunov versus Wesley for the championship or just in general. You know, I, I think these two are very talented, like very, very talented. And I think they, they should be called up to the um, main roster, but not now. Because current NXT people that are up there in the main roster are not doing so well. But I feel like with a little bit, little bit of a nice push, these two could be huge stars. Heritage Cup. Oh, wait, wait, sorry. Before that, Ava backstage. She's by the tree calling out Ivy. You know, she's got the two two uh, masked figures behind her that saved her and uh, took her out there. She's like, you know where to find me and pointed towards the tree. Uh, next up, Heritage Cup. Nathan Frazier uh, versus Noam Dar. Uh, Tyler Bates out there, but Nathan Frazier lost to Noam Dar. I would say pretty much thanks to the Dibacado. Dibacado? Did I, did I say his name right? But yeah, he, he came out. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Great. But, but I don't know. The Heritage Cup is something you really have to commit to watch. In my opinion, I the concept's cool, the rounds and whatnot, and you know, it's it's just something that you really like. My brain was like, yeah. I'll watch this, but Noam Dar's got his uh got his cup back, his baby, you know, celebrating with metaphor and everything like that. But this was the one thing I was really looking forward to too is the Tiffany Stratton thing. You know, she's all like, "It's the summer of Tiff, Tiff, or whatever." Not really. <laughs> and then she's like, "It's gonna be the fall of Tiff," you know. And I'm like, "I think you're gonna fall because uh, first coming out while well, interrupting Tiffany was uh, Gigi Doll, and I was like, "Ooh." Okay, then Keanu James came out. I'm like, uh. Then Blair Davenport came out. I was like, oh yeah. Then Roxanne Perez came out, and I was like, really like the Kool Aid man. I was like, oh yeah. And they they start slugging it out. But uh, Tiffany, before these uh, four four awesome uh, talents here came out, uh, was saying she's a better champion than Bailey, Oscar, Charlotte, and Becky Lynch. And I was like, and it kind of threw me off. I was like, Becky. Becky was never NXT champ. You know, I was like scratching in the back of my head. But I was like, okay. And, but it comes out to a fight. And literally, you know, later on, I'm just going to put these two back to back. Is Tiffany's backstage. She's like, all the trolls here are talking. Yes, I, Becky's never held a title. But Becky tweets at Tiffany. Says, I've never been the NXT champion yet. So I'm like, okay. All right. Is that the next move after Becky whoops Trish's ass at um, Payback in that steel cage. You know, I was like, okay, I, I would like that. You know, I would like to see uh, Becky go back to NXT to hopefully rebuild that title to give it back some glory. Because no offense to Tiffany, she is great in the ring. It's just, it's just not there. And I, I think she needs a little bit more uh, work on the mic and stuff like that. Her in-ring skills are great. Mike skills, not so much. Uh, Gulak and Charlie had a training thing backstage, you know, with the uh, camp and everything like that. I was like, yeah, whatever. Um, but uh, let's see. Rhea Ripley. Oh, wait, wait, no, no, no. Man, my notes are all over the place. Because my back was like, I was like writing. I was like, ah. But pretty much Ava's out there. Ivy comes out. And then she's like, attack, attack. But... The Creed brothers are back in next week against the Dyad. They called them out to a steel cage match. And I was like, oh, I'm so excited. And uh, later on, I'll put this back to back to this too. Is um, Schism responds and they're like, you have opened the gates. We are going to get Ava back. Because basically they kidnapped Ava. <laughs> um, but Schism um, responds and says, next week in a steel cage, this is going to happen. And I was just like, yes. Yes. <laughs> Rhea Ripley and Dominic versus Liar Valkyria and Dragon Lee. Uh this was this was fun. Me and my wife watched this before I went to bed last night. This was the one match I watched before actually watching the whole show. And um Raquel comes out. I was like, oh shit. You know, and I was thinking about this. Like, they're flying back and forth to this place, the performance center, and I gotta give it up, man. The, these guys travel a lot. So, you know, but to make this TV show happen with NXT and Raquel coming out to beat Rhea Ripley's ass, you know, and I'm I'm getting more excited about their match at uh, Payback. Uh, Carmelo's backstage. Oh, yeah. 
and Lyra and Dragon Lee for the win. Dragon got the uh, cover Dominic. So now Dragon has a, uh, a pin over Dominic. So we shall see where that story goes. And you still have Mustafa Ali out there. So maybe we'll see a triple threat. You know, maybe we could. Maybe we couldn't, you know. But I do like Dragon Lee. I think Dragon Lee's awesome. Uh, we have Carmelo backstage. Trick comes to visit. And Trick was doing something. And I was like, okay. He kept looking at the championship. And he's like, yeah. And he's like, Carmelo's like, yeah, I'm going to have to go out there. You know, I'm not going to be with you. But I definitely we need to be our own men right now. We got to be our own, you know, stars at this point. And Trick is like, yeah. He goes, are you blaming me for what happened? He's like, no, no. Come on, man. And But Trick kept on looking at the championship. He grabs the championship, holds it for a second, and gives it back to him. I'm like, that's good storytelling. Right there. Death, Death, you would be proud, baby. Death is like, you know what you can do, a Trick? You're going to look at that. You're going to look at that championship. You're going to look at Carmelo Hayes, baby. Because, baby, 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 you a star. You a star, baby. You a star. You're going to grab that championship. You're going to hold it for a second. And then you're going to give it to him. You know, and I was like, and, uh, I, and right then and there, I kind of, I was like, I was, <laughs> I was like, damn. Trick Williams versus Carmelo Hayes for that championship. The showdown, the ultimate betrayal of trick and stuff like that. I was like, that, that's, that's something I really want to see. I really want to see that. So, um, Baron Corbin versus Von Wagner really didn't happen. Big fight. Then here comes out Braun Breaker and he has a shirt, this, a new shirt that says best spear in the business. And Roman's like, get out of here. <laughs> um, but Braun Breaker, you know, hits Von Wagner. So their story's not over. Um, so the bell never rang, this match never happened, and Baron Corbin, you know, in the mix. And what's funny with Baron Corbin, I was like, man, you came down here to reinvent yourself, but now I feel like you're spinning the wheels again, you know, with this whole Von Wagner thing, and then Braun Breaker's kind of coming in, because they have a storyline, and this match was just kind of, I don't know. So, but we'll see what happens next week. We'll see what happens. Now, on uh, my second favorite match of the night, the NXT Championship, Carmelo Hayes versus Wes Lee. <laughs> man. The, there's a the table spot. Like, they even move that table closer to the ring. I think just because they're like, if he hits this, you know, he has to hit it just right. So if you when you're watching this as they're setting up and uh, Wes is on the outside and Carmelo's about to do his thing, that if you look at the table, it's a little bit closer to the ring than normal because I feel like they wanted to make sure the spot looked great and it did. Like Carmelo comes down, hits uh, Wes, and bam, that table explodes. I was like, oh shit, and fucking Wes sells it. Um, and I, I really like the finish of this match. I really like the finish, you know, like Wesley's there, but he's not there just yet. Like he's giving it to Carmelo Hayes and Carmelo Hayes was like, what can I do to put this man down? But Wes did a dive and hits his head right into the barricade to make them all like, Oh, you know, but I like that. It was, a, it was, a, you know, he, he tricked in and come out. Ilya didn't come out. This was a straight up fight between these two. And I think Wesley brought it to Carmelo Hayes. So I think down the road, we're going to get uh, Wesley and Ilya Dragunov maybe in a number one contenders match. Who's going to face uh, Carmelo Hayes? Because I would love to see Carmelo Hayes versus Ilya Dragunov again. Like that would be fucking awesome. So there's a lot going on with the with the championship right now. And Carmelo Hayes retains the championship. Still our NXT champion. I had a lot of fun with this show. You know, um... I, I got to give it a solid four out of five. My favorite match of the night, though, was Ilya Dragunov versus Trick Williams. And uh, and I got to give nothing but love and respect to Trick. Like, awesomeness. And Carmelo Hayes versus Wesley is my second favorite in the match. I like the I like the fact that the Creed brothers are back. We're getting a steel cage match. I like the fact now we're doing something with Tiffany. We got Blair. We got Kiana. We got Roxanne. We got Gigi all going to face in a fatal four-way match to see who's going to face uh, Tiffany. And uh, I think this happens next week. A lot's going on. We still got a pay-per-view coming up, man. We got all in this Sunday. Then next week, we got payback. And I think the next week, we got all out. And then at the end of the month, we got um, No Mercy. So a lot of stuff's going on and i'm happy to be a wrestling fan they also announced that all in the first all in pay-per-view will be on dvd slash blu-ray and i'm like yes i'm excited i'm i, I gotta order it it's only for two weeks you gotta pre-order it now i think starting today or whatever when this podcast drops but yeah um a lot going on now that's it that's all uh drop your comments below tell me what you thought of nxt's heat wave 2023 in the bag where do we go from here? I'm excited. I'm very invested in the show now. Like, I'm very invested with everybody. all every, Down to the family, down to Gallus, everything. All of it. <laughs> 
Uh, hit that like, hit that subscribe, share with your grandma, share with your grandpa, share with the bum down at Walmart. Go to prowrestlingtees.com slash new world podcast. Get yourself that sweet NWP logo. I want to see it in the crowds. Too sweet me, baby. Um, all right. That's it. That's all. I'm KMB, the sexy ninja. And remember, the New World Podcast is for life, brother. Wow.